everyone, and welcome to another quick tutorial on how to use Tyke's Universal Data Graph. In this tutorial, we're going to be covering how to set up a mutation within Universal Data Graph. And to do that, we're going to come to the API screen within the Tyke dashboard. We'll come to Add New API. We'll call this New Mutation. It will be a GraphQL endpoint. The listen path will be slash new mutation. And instead of proxy to an existing GraphQL services, as per usual, what we'll do is check off Universal Data Graph and then click Configure API. Now what we'll do is come down to the bottom here and switch the authentication mode to open keyless. And that, if you're not familiar, is just going to make it so that we don't have to pass any type of authentication to access this API. If we wanted to, we totally could, but just for ease of use, we're just going to do that. Now our next step is going to be to define our schema. Now we have a query and a default mutation here, and what we're going to do is create a new type under here that is going to match our Swagger pet store. And that's what we're going to use to actually do this mutation. We're going to use the slash pet post endpoint. If I come here, you'll see that an example would look something along the lines of ID, category, name, photo URLs, tags, and status. What we're going to use for this is just ID, name, and status. So we'll come over here and we'll create this type We'll call it type pet. We'll do ID, which is of type ID. We'll do name, which is of type string. And we'll do status, which is of type string. Then what we'll do is add a new mutation called add pet. And it's going to take a name, which is type string, and a status, which is type string as well. And it's going to return back a pet after it's actually been executed. Now we're not going to actually populate the ID. We're going to allow the endpoint to populate that automatically. So we'll move next. Now that we have the mutation set up, we have the pet type defined. Our next step is to go into data sources and we'll see here under mutation add pet data source is required for mutation type let's click on this here we don't need to worry about any of this here we'll just come right over to data source i'll click define data source the data source that we're going to create is going to be from a restful data source now we need to grab our url which is this base url come over here and do https colon slash slash petstore.swagger.io slash v2 slash pet. So you'll see our endpoint is slash pet. Now the method is going to be post and then we have to set up our method body here. So our actual request body. Now to do that what we'll do is we're going to pass a name and that value is going to come from make sure it's in double quotes that value is going to come from dot arguments dot name and that's because we're passing in a name argument into the mutation and we saw that that we defined that in the actual schema we can pull that value very similarly to the same way that we do it with the query in previous tutorials so we just call dot arguments dot name. It's going to inject that into this body dynamically. Then we'll do our comma. Then our next one here will be status. And we will do our double quote and then double curly braces. And we'll do dot arguments dot status. Now, when this mutation is executed these this body is going to be dynamically generated and then passed to that slash pet endpoint through a post method 
Okay, and the last thing we need to do here is add a header for content type, and the type will be application slash JSON. Click add, update field. You'll see that it now is stamped with rest. And now we should be able to come over to playground. I've got a mutation already created here. So mutation, add pet, we pass a name of UDG, status of available, and then in return, when the pet comes back, the created pet comes back, we're going to just grab its ID, name, and status. So I'm going to click play, and we can see here that it's been created, and it has a generated ID, which ends with 228. Now, if we want to make sure that it's working, let's create another. We should get 229. Oh, other people are using this endpoint. Two, uh, so 232, 234, 235. 236. So this mutation does in fact work. It's calling that RESTful endpoint, creating that pet entry, and then bringing back that created pet so that we can grab those details. And that's all there is to setting up a very, very basic mutation in Tyke's Universal Data Graph.